Well, you've made it to the Fly a Flag video journal. I hope this means you'd like to fly a flag over Antarctica, because here's your opportunity. Flags, 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 they were everywhere in Antarctica. There were flags that directed you toward the right path. We often followed the red and green flags. There were flags that indicated places to avoid, like holes or cracks in the ice. These were marked with black flags. But don't worry, these were just some test areas. Each base proudly displayed their nation's flags. Scott Base had the New Zealand flag, and here at McMurdo Station, we had the American flag. There were even flags representing the Antarctica Yacht Club. So seeing all these flags gave me the inspiration for the Fly a Flag Challenge. And so the team thought it would be fun for you to fly your own flag over Antarctica. So the challenge is this. We want you to get a flag from the Pink Palace Museum, decorate it, and return it to me. I will fly the flag over the ice, or maybe near a Waddell seal, and mail it back to you. Here's a bit more detail. You can purchase your flags at the Pink Palace Museum gift shop for only $10. This includes the flag, the return envelope, and the return postage. I'll get the flags to Antarctica. But if you're from out of town, no worries. You can contact me at alex.eilers at memphistn.gov and I'll be happy to arrange your purchase. So once you have your flag, select a topic you'd like for me to research. I'll write a journal about that topic while I'm on the ice. A list of topics will be included with your flag. And as you might have guessed, there will be a number of topics related to the Waddell seal, such as the blood, the blubber, their teeth, seal sounds, which were out of this world, and my favorite feature, the seal's eyes. And yes, there will also be a number of other topics, such as Antarctic weather, ice, Mount Erebus, and yes, penguins will be on the list as well. Now, even though I'll be writing the journal, I'd like you to join in the fun and read or write about the selected topic as well. And I'd love for you to send an email to me with what you've learned. Now it's time to decorate your flag. The flags will be white, so colorfully decorate it based on your selected topic. Permanent markers such as Sharpies or fabric markers work best. Don't forget to sign it. Or if you're a teacher, have your students sign the flag too. And remember, I'm giving extra credit to those people who research and write about your topic. Now, the majority of your job is done, but you still need to get the flag to me. Address it or deliver it to the Pink Palace Museum, care of Alex Eilers at 3050 Central Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38111. Return your flag to me by or before Wednesday, September 10th, 2014, and be sure to include the flag, your completed registration form, and the self-addressed stomped envelope. If you're doing extra credit, though, put that in as well. Watch for your topic to appear here in one of my journals, and you will be the sponsor of that journal. I'll return the flag to you in the self-addressed stamped envelope. So look for your souvenir flag to arrive sometime in December or January. Thanks for participating.